10 Best Picks presents the Top 10 Best Ergonomic Keyboards. Starting at number 10. SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL. The SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL is an exceptional gaming keyboard with an outstanding set of features and software support. It has full RGB backlighting, dedicated macro keys, and an OLED screen that lets you access various settings without having to minimize your game. It has an excellent build quality that's nearly identical to the SteelSeries Apex Pro, and the tactile switches offer a light typing experience that doesn't cause any fatigue, though some may find them a bit mushy. While this keyboard is available with different switches, we tested the tactile variant of this keyboard, and with the exception of typing quality, we expect most of the results to be applicable to the other variants as well. The Apex 7 TKL has a small footprint, as it's a tankless keyboard, but will take up more space if you choose to use the included wrist stressed. If you prefer a full-size keyboard, then check out the SteelSeries Apex Pro. The SteelSeries Apex 7 TKL's build quality is identical to the Apex Pro and it's excellent. While most of the keyboard is made of plastic, it has an aluminum plate on top to provide rigidity. The aluminum plate has a soft finish to it, and the keyboard uses double-shot ABS keycaps, which is great for durability of the key legends. The key stabilizers are excellent, and there's no sign of wobbling or rattling. It comes with a wrist rest that attaches to the keyboard magnetically, and the wrist rest has a soft finish as well. Unfortunately, this keyboard is a dust magnet, but the overall build feels durable and shouldn't cause any issues with long-term use. At number 9. Corsair K68 RGB. In most keyboard reviews, the intro gives you the spiel on how important it is to have a gaming keyboard in order to play PC games. Such keyboards emphasize the X number of milliseconds their fancy switches will save you on reaction times. If you're one of the many people who have switched from rubber dome to mechanical switches, you'll notice an obvious difference in typing quality that often translates into improved comfort and accuracy. However, unless you're a top-level professional gamer, chances are you won't notice much of a difference in your reaction time or any of the other attributes that gaming keyboard manufacturers promise their products will improve. The only real advantage offered by gaming keyboards is anti-ghosting. So, now that we've shot this entire category in the leg, what about gaming keyboards makes them worth buying? Their look and feel certainly help. Nobody wants to show up at a LAN party toting the $20 keyboard the borrowed from an accounting department, and some convenience features become in handy while playing. However, such differences, and the impact they have on the final gaming experience, tend to pale when compared to software. Today's gaming keyboards and mice come equipped with programs that allow you to customize and enhance your experience beyond what a matte black finish and fancy switches can provide. Of course, not all configuration software is created equal. Some config programs don't offer much customization. Some are merely glorified settings menus. But other programs, like the Corsair Utility Engine Q, provide an almost limitless amount of customization that truly does enhance the gaming experience. Number 8 of my list. SteelSeries Apex Pro. The SteelSeries Apex Pro is an outstanding keyboard for gamers, but it's quite versatile too. It has a unique actuation force setting that lets you change the amount of pre-travel distance and actuation force needed to input a keystroke. You can lower it for a more responsive experience in games, or you can raise it up to reduce the number of typos and accidental keystrokes when typing text. This keyboard is very well built and features dedicated media keys and comes with a nice magnetic wrist stressed. This full-size keyboard is rather large and will take even more space if you use the magnetic wrist stressed. There's also a tankless version available, which is shorter. We expect the TKL model to perform similarly to the full size. The SteelSeries Apex Pro's build quality is excellent. It has an aluminum body that feels very solid. It has great ABS double-shot keycaps that feel durable too. It comes with a magnetic wrist rest that's covered by a rubber coating, but unfortunately, it's a dust magnet. The ergonomics are decent. The keyboard comes with a nice magnetic detachable wrist rest, but only features a single incline setting. Unfortunately, the feet open up vertically, meaning they can fold back in if you push your keyboard forward. For an even more ergonomic design, check out the split design of the Kinesis Freestyle Edge RGB. 
The SteelSeries Apex Pro is a full RGB keyboard. You can select your preferred lighting option directly on the keyboard with the menu button and also control the brightness level. The black frame creates a nice contrast with the colors and makes the keys easy to read when in the dark. Coming at number 7. Kinesis Gaming Freestyle Edge RGB. The Kinesis Freestyle Edge RGB is designed to be an ergonomic, split, mechanical gaming keyboard. It features Cherry MX switches, which you can choose between MX Red, Brown, Blue, and Speed Silver, although we tested the brown switches. The board is well built and is an overall small improvement over the very similar Kinesis Freestyle Pro. It also has RGB lighting and included wrist rests on the two halves of the keyboard. This TKL keyboard is rather large and can take even more space if you decide to split the two halves. Just like the Kinesis Freestyle Pro, the cable between both halves is 20 inches long. On the other hand, you can also easily only use the left half if you play FPS and move the right half away to have more room for your mouse. However, the cable that's connected to the PC is on the right half. The build quality of the Freestyle Edge is good and quite similar to the Kinesis Freestyle Pro, but with slight improvements. The board doesn't have any flex and the keys are stable. The keycaps also feel a bit more textured and don't feel too cheap. The cable is also braided and feels durable. This split keyboard enables you to position each half the way you want. The board also comes with a nice and plushy wrist rest, which can be detached. However, it doesn't have included incline settings, but you can purchase a lift kit separately. For an even better ergonomic keyboard, check out the Ergodoxes. At number 6. Moco Universal Foldable Keyboard. The Moco Universal Foldable Bluetooth Keyboard is an ultra-thin, split ergonomic keyboard. It features a unique 165-degree U-shaped fold that's designed to promote healthy typing habits. It does this by creating a natural, neutral typing position to relieve pressure on hands and wrists that over time can lead to repetitive stress injuries. Thanks to its compact, foldable design, it's easy to throw in a purse, backpack, or pocket and take along on any adventure, making it an excellent Bluetooth keyboard for frequent travelers. With a general retail price of about $26, we found it to be well worth the investment during a week's worth of testing. Unlike traditional, full-size ergonomic keyboards, the Moco is small, hardly larger than your hand, when folded down to its collapsed size. Extended out, it's only about a foot in length. It's perfect for tossing in a purse, backpack, laptop bag, or pocket and taking along on any commute or adventure. Better yet, thanks to a convenient magnet along the edges of the frame, there's no fear of it accidentally opening up and being damaged in transit. The soft grip back not only offers additional protection, but also ensures that it's not likely to shift on any surface upon which you're typing. With these combined features, it's a wonderful little travel companion. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Halfway of my listed number 5. Kinesis FREESTYLE2 Blue. The Kinesis FREESTYLE2 Blue joins the Kinesis keyboard family with its easy-to-use modular design. Better yet, this ergonomic keyboard supports up to three connected devices at a time, allowing you to easily swap between a Mac, iPhone, or iPad with the press of a few hotkeys. With its compact build, the Kinesis FREESTYLE2 is a welcome addition to any Apple user's collection, whether they're at home or on the go, thanks to the excellent battery life of up to 300 plus hours of extended use. For people who are tethered to their computers, ergonomic keyboards are a must. These keyboards tend to be large thanks to the frequently employed swoop design that opens up the keys to provide additional spacing, so fingers feel less cramped, and a wrist-friendly position that prevents repetitive stress injuries while typing. These keyboards are typically space hogs, taking up large portions of any surface that they're placed on, often forcing users to reach further for mice. This can lead to shoulder injuries in place of wrist injuries, a trade-off no one wants. The Kinesis FREESTYLE2 Blue for Mac breaks free of these norms by using a split, modular design that features two keyboard halves, one for each hand, connected via a 9 or 20-inch cable depending upon the chosen model. 
These pieces were designed with comfort in mind. They may be used separately or connected with a pivot tether at the top of the two halves. This allows you the opportunity to customize your setup and maximize your comfort, whether that's by placing the halves closer together or further apart. Coming in at number 4 of my list. Logitech K350. The Logitech K350 is an old keyboard from around 2004, but it doesn't stop it from being a decent overall keyboard for the office. It has a slightly curved design, which makes it an ergonomic board that may help with wrist strain if you type for long periods. However, it does feel quite a bit cheap, and the keystrokes feel very heavy, which seems to be counterproductive with its ergonomic design. This keyboard doesn't feel very premium, although it has a decent overall plastic build. The ABS printed keycaps feel rather cheap, and the 4 degree angle feet feel a bit loose and flimsy. On the upside, the board doesn't have an alarming amount of flex. The Logitech K350 has a wave designed board for better ergonomics. It also has a fixed wrist rest that feels decently comfortable, and you have two incline settings, 4 degrees and 8 degrees. However, since the keys have a lot of travel, it makes it quite hard to type for long periods of time and can become fairly tiring. This keyboard doesn't have backlighting, so it's not ideal to use in dark environments. If you need a keyboard with backlighting, check out the Hyperx Alloy Core RGB. While the Logitech K350 is wireless, it's not the most versatile as you can only pair it up with the Logitech unifying USB receiver. Although it uses disposable AA batteries, the manufacturer rates the battery life at around 3 years, though we can't confirm this. At number 3. Microsoft 3RA00022. Microsoft is no stranger to computers and their accessories, and it's obvious with the Microsoft Surface Keyboard that they've put a considerable amount of thought into its design. This ergonomic keyboard is not only built with high-quality materials to ensure its longevity, but it's comfortable and intuitive to use. We tested this keyboard over the period of a week, read on to see what we found. The Surface is a sleek ergonomic keyboard and a welcome addition to the Microsoft family. Like many ergonomic keyboards, it's designed to help your wrist sit at an instinctive comfortable angle that encourages natural movement to prevent repetitive stress injuries. The keys have a slight divot in the center so fingers naturally conform to their shape, making the keys comfortable and easy to type on. The sloped ergonomic design is built using high-quality, tactile materials that are not only intuitive to type on, but oddly satisfying as well. As with anything new, there's still a period of adjustment, but we didn't find the change to be a jarring experience. The Surface has the added bonus of featuring Alcantara fabric, a proprietary Italian material that's a combination of polyester and polyurethane with a suede-like feel to it. It uses the Alcantara fabric as part of the wrist pad making it, not only in soft to the touch, but easy to clean and maintain as well. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Coming at number 2, Logitech Ergo K860. The Logitech Ergo K860 is a nice ergonomic keyboard with a curved design. While this type of layout might take some time to get used to, it reduces wrist strain and is very comfortable to type on once you get it right. The board is well built and features negative angled feet as well. It features typical scissor switches, which are very similar to the Apple Magic Keyboard or the Logitech MX keys. The Logitech Ergo K860 is a rather large keyboard due to its full-size design, and it also features a non-detachable wrist rest, which makes it take even more space on your desk. The Logitech K860's build quality is good. This all-plastic board has a little bit of flex, but it doesn't feel like it's cheap enough to break. The non-detachable wrist rest is very comfortable and feels high-end. The keys are pad printed, and while they feel a bit different than the Logitech MX keys, they aren't too cheaply made. If you want a similar ergonomic keyboard with a better build quality, check out the Microsoft Surface ergonomic keyboard. The K860's ergonomics are amazing. The board is curved, with two different key sections for your hands. It might feel odd at first and take some time to get used to it, but when you do, this board feels very comfortable. Also, it has a fixed wrist rest, which is well padded and comfortable. Additionally, it has two incline settings, which create a negative angle, relieving some stress on your wrist. 
If you would prefer a keyboard split in two halves, check out the Kinesis Freestyle Edge RGB. And number 1. Microsoft Sculpt. The Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard is a great office keyboard designed for those who are prone to repetitive strain injuries. Its split keyboard layout and reverse incline encourage a more natural typing position to relieve pressure on the wrists. Unfortunately, it does take a bit of time to get used to typing on this keyboard, and the use of disposable batteries feels rather outdated. Nevertheless, if you tend to spend all day in front of a computer, this keyboard may be able to help prevent any future injuries. The Microsoft Sculpt ergonomic keyboard is very large, as the wrist rest is built in and isn't removable. The numpad is a separate piece that you can place wherever you want. The keyboard also comes with an incline riser that attaches magnetically, which increases the height of the keyboard significantly. Microsoft advises users to use the incline riser for optimal ergonomic positioning, but you can use the keyboard without it. The build quality is passable. It's mainly made out of plastic, however, the overall build feels good and the keyboard doesn't flex. The wrist rest is cushioned with a dense foam-like material that started peeling off a bit at the corner on our unit, but your experience may vary. The incline riser is plastic as well, and it feels noticeably cheaper, as it can potentially crack if dropped. The keycaps have a slightly textured feel to them, and the key legends are pad printed, which can chip or fade with regular use. Ergonomics are excellent. Microsoft advises users to use the incline riser, creating a reverse incline to prevent the wrists from bending downwards, therefore putting less pressure on the wrists. For more information and price, check out the product links in description, underneath the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel, share this video and hit the like button.